seven weeks later, um, it's come to that time to leave Gran Canaria finally. I can't believe it's been seven weeks. Um, mental, I mean, obviously 10 days of that was the contest week. Um, but yeah, now got the van fully, fully packed. Got some of Miguel's stuff in there as well. So that's what's a bit, a bit busier in there, but fully packed to go to Tenerife. I'm actually really excited. Um, I haven't been there for maybe two or almost three years now. So super excited to go back there. It's a place I really enjoy. I really like the wave there. And um, hopefully we get some really good wind for the World Cup that is going to be happening there. It's going to be a four star event. So not maximum points, but a lot, a lot of the guys are still going. I'm pretty sure Philip Costa will be there and Victor and um, yeah, most of the kind of European guys are going to be there. So it's going to be a pretty packed event and it's going to be good to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get on the road now. Um, now I've got to drive about an hour, um, basically around Gran Canaria um, to the port. And then it's a ferry, which is about 80 minutes to Tenerife to the north um, of the island and then we got another hour drive back down to El Medano. Since the contest, um, I moved places. I was staying with um, Gregory. He's from Greece. Uh, he came third, I think, in the under 21s. And uh, he's sailing really, really good in Pozo. He's really nailed like the small waves of onshore 360s, the shakers. Um, and, and the jump, so you know he's sailing really well, and um, he's super committed. So it's good to, to stay with him. We've also had a few other Greek guys um, come and go. Um, really good level, actually. Like um, we just saw Leonard win the freestyle in Puerto. So you know, there's a bit of a, a Greek storm coming. I can see a few good people coming out of there, which is cool. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, the wind has been, we had a really good run of wind pretty much until last week. And yeah, my, one of my aims was kind of um, trying to go higher on the jumps because uh, it's definitely something that was letting me down a little bit in the contest. But also, I just want to jump higher. We all want to jump higher, it's more fun. So that's kind of concentrating on like back loops and forwards. Um, so yeah, which sort of brought me to the question, how do you, how do you jump higher? Um, so there's a few main takeaways that I've kind of realized um, while being here. Um, firstly, it's a pretty obvious one, but speed. Not only speed, but having kind of, um, you know, powering your sail and going fast. You know, it is so so key to, to going higher. And when you think you're going fast, you probably need to go faster. Um, it's one of those things. And I kind of realised I was probably playing it a bit safe with you know going fast in Pozo um, because it's because it's quite a daunting place to go fast. Um, there's loads of chop. There's loads of people and. Um, it's really windy, so like going fast on a 3-4 can be quite scary, but that's one of those things that you kind of just have to get used to. And, um, using a bigger sail than um, is kind of comfortable and getting used, used to being powered up and just going um, hell for leather um, is something that kind of takes time and it's something that I was trying to work on um, the last couple of weeks. And yeah, I feel like I'm going faster for sure. And then, yeah, like the other point about going fast is, well, there's a couple of things, but hitting the ramp at the kind of steepest part, um, kind of obvious, but um, it's a lot about uh, how you hit it. So you can hit it sort of coming from downwind to upwind, or you can hit it um, kind of straight or downwind and this is something that's like really important as well because uh, I realized especially with my back loops um, the, the way to learn it I feel anyway um, the most controlled way the best way to learn to do back loops is to um, have a kind of gentle carve 
um, upwind into the wave. I mean, it's 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 the safest way. It's the easiest way. You get a nice sort of smooth arc all the way around. Um, now, as much as that's a good thing to learn, when you want to get more height, um, you sort of initiating that slow rotation is killing all your height. Um, so it's one of the things when you watch. I mean, a lot of the the guys here that jump high. Costa's a good example, um, Marino, people like this. Um, they're taking off downwind and they're using the lift um, from the bottom of the board to gain loads and loads of height. Um, and the trouble is, it's a skill to then be able to uh, transfer that kind of downward forward momentum and arc it all the way back and into like a, a back loop or. or whatever push to tweak or something like this so um, the angle of or how you hit the ramp can make a huge difference to your height and that's something that I was also trying to trying to work on so we, we did have some really good sessions um, had some quite frustrating sessions I would say where uh, you do the classic where you feel like you're doing something you feel like you're taking off downwind but um, you you look at the video and you're totally not doing it so yeah I feel like slowly going a little bit higher but as I said it's um, windsurf is hard and uh, sometimes when you have something that's so ingrained in your mind it's really hard to break it and um, kind of uh, almost not completely relearn something but you have to almost um, do a different style and this I think this happens to a lot of people when maybe they're doing their forward loops and they're landing their forward loops but actually to progress and do a really good forward loop they have to kind of almost rethink the whole process and, and go again so it's, it's what windsurfing is all about it's why we we love it and hate it sometimes but uh, when you do get it obviously um, it feels like the best thing in the world so yeah we've had a few good sessions probably put together like a little shredded type video because we've got a bit of footage 